So in this episode, we're going to be looking at the incarnation in Christianity. Christians believe that Jesus is God-made man. This is known as the incarnation. Jesus is the second part of the Trinity, but was also born of a human mother. There are some Christians who argue that the incarnation is a myth, a story that whilst not literally true, may contain elements of truth. This means that the title Son of God is symbolic of the importance God attaches to Jesus' teaching. According to this belief, Jesus is not literally the Son of God, but is undertaking God's work. So some Christians believe that Jesus is a God-made man. This is known as the Incarnation. And Christians believe that Jesus is God-made man. What is this known as? It's the Incarnation. Jesus is the second person of the Trinity, God the Son, but born of a human mother, Mary. Jesus was fully human and fully divine. After his death and resurrection, Christians believe that Jesus ascended back up to heaven to sit at God the Father's right hand. God the Father is the father of Jesus, and Joseph is looked upon as Jesus' earthly foster father. The beginning of the good news about Jesus the Messiah, the Son of God. Because Jesus is God, his teachings are believed to come from God. This was achieved by the power of the Holy Spirit. As we hear, but the angel said to her, do not be afraid, Mary. You will conceive and give birth to a son, and you are to call him Jesus. He will be great, and he will be called the Son of the Most High. Christians believe that Jesus was able to feel what humans feel, including fear and pain. So to recap some of that, Christians believe that Jesus is the second part of the Trinity, God the Son, but born of a human mother called Mary. This meant Jesus was able to feel what us humans feel including fear and pain. And what are the features of Jesus according to Christianity? That's that Jesus was able to feel what humans feel, including fear and pain. That after his death, Jesus ascended to heaven to sit at God the Father's right hand. And that because Jesus is God, his teachings are believed to come from God. And there are some Christians who argue that the incarnation is a myth. What does this mean? This means that the story is not literally true, but may contain some elements of truth. So after his death and his resurrection, Christians believe that Jesus ascended back up to heaven to sit at God the Father's right hand. All you need to know about incarnation.